everyone. Here we are. Happy Monday. I'm very excited to see all of you and welcome uh, to Vintage Meat Modern. It is so nice to have so many of you. Do you know that we have over 40 new members uh, to welcome to our private Facebook group? So I want to take a whole hearted moment uh, to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for being here and spending your time with us. It's a very exciting time here at Vintage Meat Modern. We are in the midst of our first collection of the year, which debuted last night on the website. And also, we have a lot of new people here, so I wanted to chat with you a little bit about what makes us different, what makes us special, and what you can do to really enjoy the most of your time when you're here in the group. As also, going along with that, one of the most special things that we can do here for all of you is encourage you to look and feel your best every day. I want you to know this group is ran by real women with real jobs, real families, uh, real successes, real struggles, all of those things. And being able to add a little bit of jewelry and something that's very unique and distinctive to your look that can set you apart from the rest, I know that with 20 years of style experience can really set you up to have your best day, even when you're not feeling your best. It also really is a wonderful way of celebrating our unique and individual style that we all possess. So many of us love vintage jewelry because it's like nothing we can find in the stores. And the collection that we curate here at Vintage Meat Modern is really rich in tradition, fashion history, and of course, it has to be able to be worn with what you actually have hanging in your closet and be able to be worn where you're really going and how you're really living. So whether you have joined us because you're looking for the something perfect old uh, to be wearing for your wedding or maybe a special event, remember, wear the dress once, wear the jewelry forever, or you are a professor and you lecture, or you're a teacher, or you're retired, or you're a stay-at-home mom, or you're an entrepreneur, or you're a nurse, whatever, we got you covered. We're here to celebrate the joy of jewelry with you, and I'm here to support you on your style journey. And so this week was very special, and then it's our first collection of 2020. Again, we've got so many new people here. We've got people who've been in the group for a long time. Each week on Sunday night, we put out an amazing collection of vintage jewelry that has been hand sourced by me. And I go hours and searching, researching, trying to find the perfect pieces for you because I want you to really be able to look and feel your best and I want you to have something that's completely unique to you. So this week's collection was very much inspired by two groups. It was inspired by my love of Downton Abbey, which I know a lot of you in here love Downton Abbey too. And it was also inspired by one of our fashion icons, Anna Wintour. And so a lot of the pieces that we saw are great pieces that are really sort of a throwback or sort of a way of getting that look all at the same time while also being able to achieve that look that you can really wear and enjoy. So I have on really simply today, I have on a cute top from Anthropology. Uh, it's got like a little paisley print on it. I like being able to wear things that have both warm and cool tones together in them. I have it on with jeans because we're shipping over 25 orders today, as well as I'm already meeting with my team to already talk about the collections that we have coming up. So we have a very busy day here behind the scenes, but it's fine for me to talk about my Monday must-haves, which are the 10 pieces that I loved from the collection the most, and talk about why they're special. So if you're catching this on the replay, I put all the links to all of the pieces that I love already here, as well as we're going to be putting up a blog post a little bit later with the links to these pieces as well. But be sure to listen to why these pieces are special because you might think about them a little bit differently once you hear about how you can wear them and why they're special. So I'm starting off right away by talking to you a little bit about my favorite piece, which is this really gorgeous brushed gold tone bracelet, which is a vintage crown trafari piece. It's a mid-century modern piece, and you can see it's got a little bit of a geometric link. I like geometric print. As you can see, I've got... Jacqueline and Maxine are mannequins behind here, and as you can tell, this kind of mimics the sort of same geometric design that you're seeing in the blouse here. 
I'm somebody that likes to be able to put geometric prints also with being able to wear with your jewelry. And so I like when you can see the same pattern that's maybe running in your clothes, running in something like I showed you with the blouse behind it. So this piece is a great piece, very well constructed. Each piece is sort of articulated. It's also got a brushed gold tone versus a shiny gold tone. So for those of you who think of gold as being that very bright, I'm telling you the matte gold is still very much trending. This is also very easy to mix with maybe some modern jewelry that you have. So if you're like me and you wear a little bit of everything, you wear vintage jewelry, fine jewelry, designer jewelry, this is a really nice bracelet. The other thing I like about this one is it's really nice and it's flexible. So it moves with you. It's not a hard cuff. So for somebody who's a busy woman uh, like I am, where we're busy during the day and everything, this is a great piece. Um, it goes nicely with anything that you put with it. And then, like I said, it's got that sort of weighted classic style composition. And it's also very easy to be able to wear and pick up with patterns too. Uh, if we give a look at it, I was looking to see, I have this fancy feature that says that I can share my screen with you now, but I don't know, maybe I can't do that after all. Oh, there are my girls, uh, Samantha and Liz are here. Thank you so much for joining us. So this is my first piece that I really like a lot. So this is the first one that I am, um, that I'm gonna be showing you off. The next one that I was gonna show you is uh, this West Germany piece. So this piece is also still available. This is another one of my top 10 finds this week. I like this one because this one, the glass is so well made, it actually looks like it's agate. And this one's nice because it's a nice long pendant. Uh, it also has a nice play on sort of the rich undertones with the cooler undertones. It's got those sort of lemon citrini rhinestones and then it also has got uh, the little tiny accents of the pearls too. So this piece is a great one because you can wear it at a variety of lengths as well as it mixes nicely with other jewelry. Also, it has that antique filigree style to it. So whenever we think of that sort of old world, that quality of pieces that we love from the past, I think a lot of people are attracted to filigree. And so this is a nice one. Uh, again, like I said, I like this one because this one is one that's very easy to wear uh, at a variety of lengths. As you can see, this one actually blends in with the blouse that I have on today. Uh, but you could also layer it up if you like wearing like a little necklace that says mom or you always wear a minimalist diamond pendant. This is another good one to be able to wear and stack and layer with other pieces. As you can see, it's also very forgiving in length. If I can get it over my head without even having to open up the clasp, which it does have. Um, it's another one that's one of those ones that you can just kind of throw on and go. Another piece that I love this week is that we have this really nice Victorian style brooch. This is a really, really gorgeous piece. This nice piece has got a round sort of pinwheel style to it, and it's a very pretty blue. It's not as deep as a dark sapphire blue, but it has sort of those sapphire blue undertones, but it's another one of those ones that's really easy, as you can see, to mix with lights and darks. So whether you like cool tones or warm clothes or you wore neutrals, this would equally look really pretty against a gray cashmere sweater as it does even goes with green. So popping this on against today, this is an easy one to be able to mimic and be able to pick up the pattern of the blue that's going on in my blouse. But it's also a really nice one to be able to wear against a neutral color like you're seeing here with the boucle jacket. Or you can even pick up on the blues and the tans the way that you're seeing over here in this blouse, which has got both the Paisley patterns and the geometrics going on. It's also a nice one that you can even be able to pop on into the center of your neckline and be able to wear sort of pendant style instead of wearing a big necklace as well. So this is another piece. Complementing that piece, we have a really beautiful ring that's in the same color and the same sort of family. So this is another one of my top picks this week because I love the way that these two pieces go together. It's kind of like they were meant to be. This has got the same sort of antique gold tone from the Victorian era mixed with a 1980s cocktail ring. This is a nice large oval stone, uh, very comfortable, very easy to wear, and this 
this definitely has the look of real, uh, which is one of those reasons why we like those higher end cocktail rings. That's the difference between buying a ring here at Vintage Meat Modern versus just getting a costume ring someplace else. All of these pieces are that look of real. So all those great decadent styles that we used to fall in love with that have to do with Prohibition era from the 1920s and the 1930s where cocktail rings actually get their name from, all the way to the glam days of Dynasty in Dallas and Falcon Crest that we fell in love with, with all the big faux jewelry that was so popular in the 80s, our cocktail rings are really going to set you apart from the rest. They're very high quality, they've got beautiful styling, and they really do have the look of real. Nobody's going to ask you whether or not this is a real sapphire. They're just going to say, oh darling, where did you get that ring from? So I love the way that you can pick up on the colors in this ring so easily with this brooch. Going along with those shades of blue, we also have a really gorgeous pair of Karu uh, vintage earrings that are in both the light blue and the dark blue tones. And then this is the perfect example of how it's so easy to be able to mix your warm tones with your cool tones again, and also just that really, really dynamic blue color. So if you have blue eyes, this is really, really going to make your blue eyes pop. Uh, I like that it's a little bit of an ear crawler or a uh, sort of a spray style. Makes it look really nice when you be able to put them on with your hair if you wear your hair down. But they also look really lovely when you put your hair up. And it's another pair that goes really nicely with a lot of other complimentary pieces that we have this week. So they go nicely with the blue brooch. They go very nicely with the blue bezel set necklace that we have that's right here. Uh, and they go very nicely actually with a few of the other blue pieces that we have too. So these are definitely another pair that's worth taking a closer look at. Next up, I also wanted to point out that we've got some gorgeous, gorgeous romantic era brooches too. So I think I've done one, two, three, four, five. This is my number six pick this week. My number six pick is this Art Nouveau swag style brooch with the chains that are hanging off of it. And I love it because it's got that true antique jewelry quality to it. I love pieces that actually look like real authentic vintage. I find that when you're looking for a statement piece or a conversation starter, these are always the pieces where you stop and somebody notices you in the grocery store and says, oh, where did you get that brooch? And then you can say, oh, it's a vintage piece from the 1940s. And then somebody starts a conversation and says, oh, people just don't dress like they used to. And then you think to yourself, well, I do. So this is another one of those gorgeous pieces that's really easy to wear. Um, this is definitely another one that's a great one to be able to really make a great style statement on like maybe a ponte sweater, uh, wear with sort of your boucle styles. Again, I'm going to use Jacqueline here as a mannequin. Uh, you know, you can see how nicely a piece like this stands up. Now, the reason why I also like this piece is because this piece goes so nicely with another piece that we have. I like when you can really make a statement and you can wear multiple pieces together. Even if you're wearing like a coat and then you take the coat off and then you have the matching necklace. I love when we watch shows that are like Mrs. Maisel and even Mad Men and things like that and that the women were so frequently wearing all three pieces that went together. So I've got this lovely, beautiful pearl collar which features the filigree beads and the same sort of filigree beads match up with the brass sort of styling that you see see in the pearl necklace. So this is another one of my top choices this week of my 10 favorites. I love this brooch. I love the way that it goes with this necklace. I love that you could so easily be able to put all of these pieces together uh, and really be able to create a standout, very, very stylish look. Also, this necklace, you feel like Cleopatra, uh, or you feel just regal, the same way that in the 1960s that Egyptian revival movement took place. This is such a gorgeous piece, and it's lightweight, too. So it's another one of those pieces that's like a definite winner. All righty. Winding down, and I don't know why I can't figure out how to do my sheet, my screen share. I was so proud of myself because I took the time to make sure that I linked all of these pieces, and now I can see that all the links are here, but I can't see how to how to share my video. But you know, ladies, I'm always living and learning right alongside with you. I'm going to pull my mannequin a little bit closer because I'm going to talk a little bit about my pieces that I also love that are also part of these ten favorites, and I can't believe they're still here. So 
I'm a huge fan, obviously, of Anna Wintour. If you've seen The Devil Wears Prada, if you like being able to watch her in general, um, Anna is actually somebody who's very fascinating. If you love researching women who are very successful entrepreneurs and leaders and everything, she is definitely someone to follow. Uh, she has an amazing routine. She talks a lot about being a leader. Uh, she talks a lot about the important decisions about how just our style is important and how it makes us feel and how it's part of an artistic movement and that it really does affect everybody whether you are walking a catwalk or you are just going to church on Sunday so I love being able to talk about how that even though she is very high up and very esteemed in the fashion world not only does she have incredible taste but she's also a very interesting person and a lot can be learned about her um, if you're looking to either be on a better style journey for yourself or if you're just fascinated by women who are very successful like I always am. And so she is very famous for wearing authentic vintage bezel set Georgian necklaces. If you look them up, they are like in the $695 to $1,000 price range. All the ones that we have here at VMM are $195 or under. So they're a very attainable couture look. Uh, and they are the authentic real deal from the 1920s, 1930s Art Deco era. So the first one is this really gorgeous, blue as you can see I pointed out earlier that that one goes really pretty with the blue earrings that we have so this is like a mid-century modern meets art deco 1920s look uh, this features the bezel set crystals in this light blue and of course Anna wears hers exactly like this with a big blue page jacket she wears it on top of dresses she wears it on top of big floral prints she stacks and she layers kind of all of them together so we've got this gorgeous one and in different settings she does some in oval she does some in round uh, she does some one that are in purple so here we have an authentic bezel set one in the light blue which is really pretty uh, this one I like for a couple different reasons I mean first of which it has a very very high quality cut crystal stone uh, beautiful backs again these are a deeper riveted crystal they are all set uh, very nicely with only four prongs going around them uh, also the other reason why I like this one is as you know I like wearing necklaces that are longer I am NOT a short necklace girl although this one does fit me but this one has a spring ring clasp on it and so what's nice about the spring ring clasp is that if you want to be able to make it longer you can very easily be able to make it longer by adding speed but isn't this beautiful the pictures online don't do this piece justice this is one that you are going to receive so many compliments from and it's not like anything else that you find I understand that places like uh, J crew and other places do like bezel set necklaces not like this one this one is a really really gorgeous piece you definitely can tell the tell the difference between the authentic vintage pieces as well as the pieces that are um, replicas so this is a gorgeous piece like I said what I love about this one it goes so nicely with the blue earrings this is so easy to be able to wear with a sort of peasanty style top today with all the different colors but you can dress this one up as well too uh, the next one is also on my top 10 list this is our number eight piece this is the one that I also featured sort of in the shell box this one features the bezel set crystals in this citrine amber color uh, and then they're set in the patina with the silver. This is also a piece that is hallmarked uh, Czechoslovakia on the back of it. Uh, and it's another one that, exactly, Anna just wears them all stacked up and layered together. They kind of fall all over her. They're like perfectly imperfect the way that she does it. And so if this is another one, like I said, I love those blues and those darker colors together. Again, so easy to wear. We're talking about this high-end couture look uh, that, you know, is always going to be completely unique to you too uh, and then lastly this one kind of goes along with it but as you can see this is a super super long bezel set necklace this is my number nine pick I like this one because this one reminds me of Mary Crawley uh, from Downton Abbey but it's also another one of those pieces that like I said you just kind of have to play with it but you could definitely be able to wear this one and wrap it around over and over and over again uh, and layer it up with the other bezel set pieces and just create this really gorgeous unique to you look so pretty look at that you get the blues and the golds and the warms and the paisleys all right, so this is number nine. And then, of course, my number 10 pick is the authentic bezel set necklace with the variant. And I showed this today with this very lovely 
Uh, like I said, this top has got the paisley print on it. And as you can see, this is this very unique. It's very delicate. And for those of you who are looking for a delicate piece to be able to wear, this is just a gorgeous piece that's got these beautiful faceted crystals. They're like little tiny drops of sunshine. And it's got that tiny little paper clip. And again, kind of like the way that I was talking a little bit about the filigree necklace and I was talking about the other piece. You don't have to do much to it either. You just kind of wrap it around at each other. It's a beautiful piece. So these are my 10 favorites. I know a lot of you last night tuned in right away. You hopped on. You said, oh, my gosh, all the pieces are gone. All the pieces that I love are still here. And, you know, as you sit and you get to know them a little bit better, you might have a different appreciation for understanding why I picked the pieces that I did. Like I said, these are pieces that are going to stand out whether you wear a suit and a jacket or you wear neutral colors or if you like wearing patterns and you like wearing geometric prints, if you like dressing more casually, everything here is to help you achieve that look of elevation as well as help you look and feel your best every day. And they are pieces that you can't find every place else. I do understand that you could go other places, you could go antiquing, many of us do, but these are pieces that have been pulled together specifically for all of you women here in our group. So I'm trying to make it easy on you to be able to get excited about getting dressed and looking and feeling your best every day, as well as get you excited to be in here in the group. We have so many outstanding, wonderful, beautiful women. Uh, and I always do say it, you know, it's true. I'm going to close with that. When you look good and you feel good, you do good and you leave the world a more beautiful place. And I do know that the world is a more beautiful place because of all the women that are here in the group. So I hope you have enjoyed this kind of behind the scenes peek of, of things. If you have questions about any specific pieces, we thought we were kind of doing everybody a favor this week by when a piece sold, we were moving it to the archive gallery because we do get a lot of messages where people are like, everything says it's sold out and then they get annoyed because they don't want to screw through the sold out things. But then this week people were like, I was never able to find the piece that I wanted. Uh, and all the pieces were listed. They just got moved to the archive album as soon as they got sold. But as you can see, I've showed you 10 fabulous pieces uh, that are all authentic vintage, all can't easily be sourced again, all can give you that high end look, whether you're going to tea with the Crawleys, or you're going to sit at a runway show with Anna Wintour, or you're like me, you're taking kids to dance practice, as well as running a business, as well as then spending time with her family, my father and my mother, who you know I also care for too. So regardless of where you're going, I want you to look and feel your best. And I also want you to know, all of these pieces are really, truly wearable and they're fabulous uh, again they come out to just pennies a day worth of wear uh, so even if you're investing in a little bit of the more expensive pieces that we have here you can feel really really good about being able to wear them and like I said it's not gonna take it will take only seriously like I said one compliment wearing something like a brooch like this in the grocery store where somebody says where'd you get that and you get to say I got it at Vintage Meat Modern. So everyone have a fantastic and a very happy Monday. If you have any questions about any of the specific pieces that you see here, don't hesitate uh, to comment on them because I can tell you firsthand, all 10 of these are available right here and they are all on my must have list. So everyone have a fantastic Monday. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome to the group. I'm very excited to get to know you better. And uh, I'll be back here again on Wednesday night for Jewelry Party Wednesday, where we'll be showing you all of the pieces that were from our week one collection that I left uh, and chatting with you again about some of the details that make these pieces special and unique and beautiful just like you. So from my heart and my home to your heart and your home, remember to take time to celebrate your inner sparkle so you can truly let your personal style shine. Happy Monday, lovelies, and I will see you all again real soon.